Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself, and happy Friday. Hope you've all had a good week. In this episode, I want to address um, a really common and popular topic in the, especially in the bodybuilding world, and that is nitric oxide and the pump. And supplements, dietary advice, tips and training advice that you can use to facilitate that. So I'm going to be going down again, like usual, um, some list of notes that I have. So bear with me, and I'm going to get all into this. Um, let me start by discussing a very important biological element, which I had just mentioned, that is nitric oxide, also known as NO. It is a gaseous signaling molecule in mammals, a binary compound of oxygen and nitrogen, and it is a powerful vasodilator that increases blood flow. This, in turn, can have profound benefits on both health and physical performance. Greater nitric oxide levels and thus greater optimized blood flow can lead to larger and longer lasting pump from your workouts, um, better oxygen delivery to your muscles for greater endurance and reduction of lactic acid, greater uptake of glucose, uh, mobilization of fatty acids for fuel, um, better core temperature balance, and a greater delivery of nutrients to your muscles for quicker delivery. Now, let's get into some food and supplements that you can use to increase uh, nitric oxide levels. First of all, um, uh, things like spinach, arugula, beetroot, and hawthorn berries are nitrate rich, and this can lead to greater nitric oxide levels via conversion to nitrites and then to nitric oxide. Vitamin C increases nitric oxide synthesis by stabilizing the enzymatic cofactor tetrahydrobiopterin, which, catab which catalyzes the pr production of nitric oxide. American ginseng and alpha-lipoic acid, that is ALA, can increase nitric oxide synthetase, which is a family of enzymes that, cat that catalyze the production of nitric oxide. L-arginine in high doses, such as 5 grams per day, uh, has shown in studies to lead to increase of plasma and urine nitrite and nitrates, which are stable metabolites of nitric oxide, and better erections, and has also led to better erections in men with erectile dysfunction. Um, but L-citrulline supplementation appears to be more preferential to arginine uh, supplementation, as it converts to arginine in your kidneys and improves plasma levels, thus avoiding the potential breakdown that direct arginine supplementation actually suffers in your body. Um, so actually, I personally use citrulline over arginine. Um, citrulline improves ammonia recycling and nitric oxide metabolism. In research, 6 grams of citrulline malate uh, prior to exercise was associated with increased nitri nitric oxide levels and, and also, as a side benefit, nearly 67% increase in, G in growth hormone levels post-exercise. Um, furthermore, uh, uh, pycnogenol or an extract of the uh, French maritime pine bark was associated with higher serum nitric oxide levels during one eight-week eight study using 100 milligrams daily. Now, of course, all of this that I'm, I'm throwing at you here, uh, if you look down in the uh, description tab, um, as I've done for the, the, the at least the last handful of videos, I have all of my references and uh, that are uh, being used to compile this data down there for you to peruse. Now I want to move forward with uh, tips and training methods that you can use to maximize and improve the pump. First of all, keep hydrated both before and during your training. You want to constantly keep hydrated. In fact, during training for myself, I'm constantly sipping. Even if I'm not directly thirsty, I'm always sipping water between sets. Um, carb up. Uh, IFBB legend Rich Gasperi has uh, said that your muscles need to be filled with glycogen while you're training if you want an insane muscle pump. These are his words. The glycogen is not only a source of energy that can fuel your workout, but it's also critical to making your muscles look big and full. Um, furthermore, try creatine. Uh, it pulls water into the muscle cells and can give you a fuller look. 
Um, when training in shirts, you get a good contraction on every rep. Uh, this way you can feel the target muscle with blood. Rich Gasperi also has suggested that slow down and the speed of each of your reps and really focus on mind-muscle connection as you contract as hard as possible throughout the movement. Um, try increasing the, inten the intensity of your workouts also with supersets by pairing two exercises back-to-back -back without rest between them. Furthermore, try intensifiers like drop sets, which continue to flood the muscle with uh, blood beyond failure. Um, you also might want to try decreasing uh, rest between your sets to 30 to 60 seconds, which will help keep the blood levels um, high in your target muscle. Uh, and finally, fin this is one that I particularly like. Finish your workout with uh, some higher rep work, uh, say sets of, of uh, 20, for instance. Personally, I love finishing with four sets of a minimum of 25 reps, which I find engorges my muscle with blood and gives me a skin stretching pump and tightness. Um, and yes, that's 25 reps, four sets. That's what I go for. It's it's not quite a century set because I take I take uh, about a 30 to second rest break between those sets, but I am getting 100 total sets in a very short amount of time, and it it burns, it burns, and it pumps you the hell up. And I do that at the end of my workout to finish off uh, a muscle and flush it with blood. Finally, um, leaning out can help because it will reveal more muscular definition and improve the visibility of vascularity. Anyway, that's, uh, those are um, basically some supplements and uh, dietary and training tips that you can use uh, to help maximize nitric oxide levels, maximize and improve your pump in your workouts, and, um, and of course get the benefits associated with that. Uh, I don't really have anything else to add. If there's something you'd like to add, maybe you've tried and it works, or you would like to discuss further or ask more about, please drop it in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I hope you all have a good week, and I'll see you all on Monday for a, another regularly scheduled episode. Until then, stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. I'll see you around.